Corox is a company in New Zealand specializing in 3D printed concrete. They aim to develop things both small and large, utilizing parametric design to create things the world has never seen before. Founder Wafae Swelim was born and raised in Cairo, Egypt, and has a Bachelor of Science in Architectural Engineering from Cairo University. With over 20 years of experience in the construction industry, he's lived and worked in four different countries. He ran a small family business before moving to Dubai in 2006. In Dubai, he served as a project manager on projects like the F1 track and the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, along with the Caterpillar Mena HQ and Logistics Center. In 2015, he moved to New Zealand, and in 2018, he began looking for a solution to construction automation. When he found Seabay Technologies, they were able to partner up to bring 3D printed concrete to New Zealand. You may remember Seabay from my podcast episode with founder Barry Hendricks. We talked about the origins of his company and where they're going in the future, along with where some of their printers have been shipped to and the various options available. We also got a tour of his facility. The podcast is over an hour long, so for those with less time on their hands, there's also a shortened version. Barry also checked in with me from their guardhouse they printed in France. Here's a small outdoor print using the Seabay printer by Corox. Note their ability to print outdoors without the use of a protective tent. This is partially due to the nice weather they have. On some prints, we've seen a foot or two of progress before it was paused and resumed. But with this material, they're able to print the full height without having to stop in between. You may be wondering how much this stuff costs. They say benches cost around $2,000, planters cost around $250. A residential wall is a similar cost to timber walls with weatherboard cladding. These prices are highly variable because most customers are going to want a custom design. This custom design could use a different amount of material or require intensive design efforts. Here's a great print of what may be a simple barrier or potentially a wall element. You can see on the interior there's a single piece of rebar running through the length of this element to give it a little extra support. Rebar isn't required in all of the prints done with this technology, however used strategically it can be a great value add to increase the strength and tension of your print. Corox is currently based in Hamilton and is focused on serving Auckland, Waikato, and BOP regions. Corox prints with a 50 megapascal concrete, so the weight is similar to that of typical concrete. The robot has a reach of 2.5 meters by 5 meters and a height of 4 meters. They print both on-site and off-site, depending on the needs for the project. Uniquely, the material they use is impenetrable by water. It can be used for water tanks and manholes. According to their website, their technique is 75% faster than traditional methods with 70% less waste and 40% less CO2 emissions. They're able to print structural walls and slabs, exterior walls, architectural walls, benches, planters, sculptures, retaining walls, swimming pool walls, prefab toilet blocks, climbing walls, shelters, sea walls, and much more. Not to mention, they're only just scratching the surface of the things to come. Oh,